I don't mean for this title to sound like a rant, but I had yet another discussion with a student this week about their sketches and why they couldn't be used for manufacturing. So can we talk about why your beautiful illustrations are for all of us to ooh and ah at, but not for you to produce a garment? I mean, listen, don't get me wrong, this person's sketches were gorgeous. The problem is they were so stylized you could never look at them and fully understand proportion, fit, trim, hem finishes, all of the things a manufacturer needs to create an actual garment. And that's the point of a flat sketch. It can tell someone who's making your design and not in your head what you want. So here's three reasons why flat sketching is an art form that you as a designer or an aspiring designer need to master. So if you're not yet familiar with the tech pack, make sure you check out my videos on this channel and find out what they are, why they're important and how to make one. And you can start with this video. But basically the tech pack is the document you give to a manufacturer to sample, cost and eventually produce your garment. It contains the front and back, sometimes side view flat sketches of your garment and any directions the manufacturer might need to create a physical sample. And it starts with your sketch. Although there are call outs and a spec, the manufacturer first looks at your sketch to quickly assess the design, how complex it is, potentially if they have the capability to make the item, how long it may take, even if the overall construction looks costly. And certainly once they sit down and take a better look at your very detailed sketch, they can get an even better idea of complexity, cost, timing, etc. And think about this. If you're sampling and manufacturing in a country where their first language is not the same as yours, an accurate sketch is that much more valuable. Yes, there's someone who can translate your written information, but most of the time the sample maker is just trying to make your sample look like your sketch. And if it's overly stylized, details are missing, not proportional. If you think about when you're creating your illustrations or even your quick sketches, many times you're just getting the idea out on paper or you're trying to convey a mood or a look, but you haven't actually worked out all the details about how this is going to be constructed. When you draw your flat sketch, you really have to think about all those things. How is the wear getting in and out of your garment or accessory? Where is that style line going to go? And after really considering the design, do you even still want it or need it? And then there's fabric and trim considerations. And depending on how you design, you may have already considered a fabric. But now, as you work through your design idea, you may decide that the design or some of the details of the design are not appropriate for the fabric you chose, or the trim or the placement of the trim may change. And sometimes you may redesign because you thought of a better idea or a different construction that will work better. All of this is part of the design process and regularly happens as you create. And changing the idea may happen as you do your initial illustration or quick sketch, but it definitely happens when you flat sketch because now you're showing someone all of the design details and creating the beginnings of your blueprint for how to make the physical garment. I've worked with many aspiring designers and fashion entrepreneurs in the last few years. And one of the hangups that a lot of people have is that they're creative, they have an eye for style, they wanna be a designer, but they can't draw. And my response has always been the same. Okay, is that the only thing holding you back because it shouldn't? I've seen drawings from some very famous designers. Some use very realistic illustrations while others use very loose or very basic sketches. What's most important when you're becoming a designer is understanding construction, understanding fit, and being able to convey your design ideas. The way most designers do that is through a sketch, but that sketch doesn't have to be a nine head illustration. I've used flat sketches for over 20 years to help sell products for brands like Champion, Fila, Danskin, Gap Body, and even private label brands for Target stores. And I can count on one hand the number of times we've used fashion illustrations in our presentations. 
The fact is, a flat sketch can kind of level the playing field when it comes to drawing, and a program like Illustrator, which is what I like to use to create my flat sketches, can really help you create a clean, accurate, proportional drawing that conveys your intended fit, shape, details, and finishes. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say a flat sketch is the most important type of drawing that a designer can create. Don't get me wrong, I love a beautiful illustration like the next person. And I think they're great for showing the initial idea and the attitude of your customer and the design. But if you're a brand and have a fashion business, you're probably selling physical products. And if you need a physical product made, a flat sketch of it has to be created so you can show someone how to produce it for you. Thanks for watching today's video. If you need to learn how to draw flats in Illustrator, check out the link in the description to take one of my classes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.